It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Thursday, the 25th of April. I'm Michael Groff. Cooler temperatures today across the area, along with breezy conditions at times. There are chances of showers and thunderstorms, but they will be confined well to the north of greater Phoenix for today. A follow-up disturbance comes into the region tomorrow, continuing the cooler weather and breezy to windy conditions at times. And by late tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night, there is an outside chance we could see a shower or thunderstorm here across South Central Arizona, including Phoenix. Saturday looks beautiful, but then we start another warming trend as we get towards Sunday and for much of next week, and temperatures will return to above average levels. All right, let's get into it here. The Almanac from yesterday, 93 degrees the afternoon high, 68 was the morning low. 87 and 63 are the averages for this time of the year. And as we take a look outside right now at 8 o'clock, we've got sunny sky. And we've got 72 degrees at Sky Harbor. Dew points at 30, humidity 22%. It's a light wind. The barometer 29.85 inches and rising. Upper level weather pattern across the nation shows a wave coming into the southwest. There's that trough. And with that, Mostly dry conditions this far south across the south central and southwest deserts of Arizona, but enough moisture and dynamic support does exist just north of us to see a few showers and thunderstorms for the higher terrain today. Uh, the main impact from this system will be the cooler temperatures. Uh, afternoon highs should be about 10 degrees cooler today than that which we saw yesterday. And again, the breezy conditions, a bit windy up north. The watch warning map, fairly quiet. Some red flag warnings off to the east of us. Wind advisories and high wind warnings to the west across Southern California. Some freeze warnings over parts of Michigan and scattered about uh, the rest of the country. But mostly things rather quiet. The convective outlook, we've got the enhanced risk of severe storms with that wave coming toward the Plain states. So around Wichita Falls, Texas, Oklahoma City, Dodge City, Kansas, the broader severe weather risk from Midland, Odessa, Lubbock, all the way up to uh, parts of South Dakota, the Black Hills of South Dakota. And again, thunders, thunder just north of us, the green across northern Arizona today. There could be some thunderstorms up there. Precipitation outlook valid through Thursday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, probably nothing. Statewide, about one-tenth to one-quarter of an inch across northern Arizona. An isolated spot could see just a bit more than that as the, we'll see a kind of a one-two punch of weather disturbances coming on through. And we'll get into the details of what's going on right now as we explore the models. Check it out, the GFS. This is the 06Z run. It's valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. There's that trough coming on through. And with that, the heights are down, so temperatures are down, breezy conditions down at the surface for the rest of the day today. Mostly sunny sky for us here in Phoenix. There might be a passing cloud or two. High temperatures... Yeah, low to mid 80s. Beautiful day. Tonight, we'll see mostly clear sky, a light breeze in the evening, overnight lows mainly in the 50s and 60s, and then tomorrow. All right, uh, here comes the next weather disturbance on the heels of this one. And we will see breezy to windy conditions picking up through the afternoon. Southwest winds 10 to 20 miles an hour, gusts to around 30 here in Phoenix. Could see some gusts over 40 miles per hour up north across northern Arizona. Scattered showers and thunderstorms for the Great Basin, the Intermountain West. Uh, even down into parts of uh, southern Nevada, we could see some isolated showers. And northern Arizona, too, another round of uh, isolated to widely scattered showers during the day tomorrow. Here in Phoenix, we should stay dry, breezy, highs, low to mid-80s. Now, here's Friday night, and as the system comes on through, again, moisture is pretty limited, especially here across southern Arizona, but there are just enough dynamics with this and just enough moisture for at least an isolated shower or thunderstorm in south central Arizona, including greater Phoenix. But the key word, isolated, and while you could hear a rumble of thunder, while you could get a brief downpour from this, for the most part, any precipitation that would occur would be very light and would be very widely spaced. But just to the north of us, precipitation should be a bit more scattered. Again, mostly light. An isolated heavier shower couldn't be ruled out, though, and breezy conditions will continue. Overnight lows Friday night going into Saturday morning, mostly in the 50s. Should be a beautiful night. And then Saturday, a beautiful day. Partly sunny in the morning. We'll see the clouds clearing out by the afternoon. And yeah, high temperatures. How about 77 to 81 here in Phoenix? 
gorgeous. Just a great late April day, especially considering that we were up around 102 degrees on Monday and temperatures are going to drop off around 20, 25 degrees uh, for Saturday with highs again, upper 70s and low 80s. Beautiful. Now, Sunday, we're going to start to snap back to reality as ridging builds in here. Highs back to the mid and upper 80s on Monday, low to mid 90s with sunny sky. Tuesday, mid to upper 90s. Wednesday, mid to upper 90s with sunny sky and dry air and light afternoon breezes, as is often the case here uh, in April, May and June. Kind of our typical uh, wind patterns here. Light east wind in the morning, then it becomes southwest or westerly in the afternoon. All right, here's a week from today. This is Thursday, the 2nd of May. We've got another trough coming into the Pacific Northwest Coast. That should push this ridge off to the east a bit. Southwesterly flow comes in. Temperatures might back off a few degrees. Breezy conditions at times. Going out 10 days. This is Saturday, May the 4th. And again, we've got troughing to the west of us. We'll watch how that feature plays out. But at this point, just southwesterly flow. Temperatures fairly seasonal, if that's going to verify. Look at a rainfall for Phoenix off the GFS Ensemble. This goes all the way out through the 9th of May. And many of the members do indicate extremely light precipitation possible tomorrow, tomorrow night. Just a couple hundredths of an inch of rain at that, though. And overall, the Ensemble mean for the entire two-week period here is less than a tenth of an inch. European Ensemble, not even nearly as bullish with almost no rain expected at all. And that pretty much jives with climatology and temperatures off the national blend of models. Yeah, going to be pretty pleasant, relatively speaking, for late April with highs, low 80s. But then you can see by next week, we're headed back up toward the century mark, may even touch the century mark on a day or two. And then for the most part, highs will remain in the 90s. And that is is going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. Should you happen to enjoy these videos, then be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell. Leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. If you really like what we do here, you want to support us monetarily, click that thanks icon below the video, or you can donate directly to me via PayPal. Groffshow at gmail.com is the PayPal address. G-R-O-F-F show at gmail.com on PayPal. The executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and proprietor of SweetChildAZ.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona, talking about my Michelle. Do check her out. And of course, everything else related to Michelle and her videos and all that, we've got that linked up down in the description. And I really encourage you, highly encourage you, I would dare say I even implore you to check out our streaming station. It is called KMGX. We play a ton of music. We have a lot of fun with that. Myself and Michelle work on that. It's our labor of love. So do check that out too. Again, linked up in the description. All right. Thank you so much for watching. All of your continued support. So greatly appreciated. Please be safe. Stay cool. Stay hydrated out there. Have yourselves a gorgeous rest of your Thursday.